entire area here was completely underwater, right up to the oceanfront and seaside heights. When we come into Ortley Beach, Ortley Beach is the most devastated area you're gonna see. Here's our final checkpoint before we get into the hazard or safety area. All these checkpoints, people have to verify their credentials and why they're going into the area. This blue trailer here is down to a police department's command post where all of our operations are being run. Anybody over on this island is being tracked through that blue trailer who's here. As we enter into Orly Beach, Orly Beach, as I stated, you know, seems to be uh, significantly impacted by the storm. We're going to be traveling on the southbound because the northbound is not safe yet. Here on the here on the southbound, there was a, a large number of homes in the roadway, a tremendous amount of debris, and all that had to be removed. If you look up to the ocean block here, you can see the significant amount that has washed away. You know, roughly half the ocean block of homes and stuff have uh, were impacted during the storm. The other problem we had here in Orly Beach, which continues to be a problem, is the sinkhole issue. Many of these sinkholes that you see underneath homes and near the roadway are constantly popping up. The state has done a tremendous job in controlling them now and getting the roadway back open. But uh, that has been one of the more significant problems here in Orly Beach. Over here at the former sewer plant property is another processing facility where you'll see a mountain of clean sand coming out and debris being processed. You can see Ardley Beach is completely Jersey barrier. There's no road traffic off of 35 other than at 6th Avenue where there's a police checkpoint. So everything, anybody going in and out of the Ardley Beach area is controlled by the police checkpoint here. of how much we've been able to work through. You know, Ortley Beach, as I say, the complete ocean front, ocean terrace is gone, the blacktop is gone, and it's been completely washed up. Many holes on the ocean block have uh, were either floated down the street or just were completely you know, obliterated into the piles of debris. Here in, uh, as we enter Lava Land, the, uh, You'll see over here on the left at the baseball fields, any vehicles or boats that were in roadways anywhere were collected and brought over here to the ball field area. There they're being inventory and owners are being contacted. In case you get to your home and a vehicle or a boat is missing, it's not a priority today to deal with that. We are locating them all and you can see we are bringing them over here. Every single building here was searched by the urban search and rescue team from Isle Beach State Park to Point Beach. They searched each and every dwelling, okay? And that's their accountability of marking of what was found in each structure. No homes were forced into, okay? Nothing will be broken, okay? If you do find something, you can let us know. There were some isolated issues where family and friends have contacted us saying they're definitely in there, they're definitely in there. So some homes did have to get forced open. Um, but we can address that as you guys find it. You can grab any officer in your neighborhood today and uh, report anything that needs to be reported. Before we get up here, uh, you're going to see the Louisiana State Police in your neighborhood today, Massachusetts State Police, and Pennsylvania State Police. They're over here assisting us this week. Uh, there's over 200 officers from around the country that have come here to help us. And um, they have certainly needed the help, and they've done a great job. But they're, you, know, you can grab an officer at any point today with any question. They'll be able to help you out. If you need any medical assistance while you're over here, either call 911 from your cell phone and or grab any officer. We do have ambulances and medical facilities available for you over here. If you, if and when you get to your home, if you find something unsafe or a, par a partial collapse, Please contact an officer. We will assist you any way we can with your home, but please just make us aware of it so that we can help you out. Up here around Strickland, we're gonna head over to 35 northbound, and we're gonna stop every few streets throughout Normandy and Normandy Shores. If you are closer to the northbound, I recommend you get off. Be careful of sinkholes and roadways. Some of them are washed out up here. We will then roughly around um, Fifth Avenue, we'll, we'll uh, drop and then head over to the southbound. If anybody
anybody's down Harbor Court or anything, we will try to do a loop down there, but we're not supposed to leave the 35 corridor because of the sinkhole issue. Um, it's about 10 o'clock. I'm going to tell you around 11.30, 12 the latest, you should be back to the 35 corridor. If you feel you need a little more time, take advantage of it. But please do your best not to all show up for like the last bus out at 2 o'clock because it'll create the havoc. I just can't stress enough because we don't control this. So if, if, if higher ups shut us down, then it's going to affect the re entry tomorrow and for phase two and three for you guys. So certainly go have a little priority list in your head for what you want to do in your home. Help your friends and neighbors. Don't stray too far from your street because that's the only accountability we have to where you guys are. You know, if you're going to check on somebody trying to get back to roughly your area when you're boarding your bus. If you notice, the southbound has been restriped with a yellow line for two-way traffic. That happened last night. And the only thing that can tell me is they might be planning on vehicles being here sooner than later. Pay attention to TomsRiverTownship.com or your association webpage or newsletter. Uh, they will be given information first. That's going to be phase two of our program, which part of our detective bureau is actively working on today. Thanks a lot. No problem. Yeah. 